For the past 27 years, songwriters from all over have gathered along the Gulf Coast of Alabama, Perdido Key, and Pensacola, Florida for the Frank Brown International Songwriters Festival, a festival that celebrates the work of some of the world's greatest songwriters and the art of storytelling. It's a special gift to write music. And we got a chance during last year's festival to sit and ask a few of the industry's most sought-after writers and musicians about the first song they ever wrote. The first song I wrote, oh man, I don't, I don't remember it. Uh, I, I remember it. I just, I don't know what it was about. I know it was horrible. First song that I ever wrote came around 1974. It was uh, part of three songs in one night. I played in a band. We got together and uh, uh, just kind of made up three things on the spot. They were horrible, uh, but I decided that I really liked it because it presented a good opportunity to meet women. My dad was a preacher, and I had heard the same sermon that night probably 50,000 times. Well, maybe only 20,000. So I got bored with that part of the sermon, and my mind started to wonder, and I wrote a song while he was preaching. I play a right-handed guitar, but I play it left-handed. I play it upside down and backwards. My dad had guitar pools and I fell in love with it and it moved me in a way that you know you knew wasn't normal. So my first guitar that I got came with a couple of lessons. And I go to my lesson and I take it like this and the guy said, well, whoa, what are we gonna do with this? I wrote this song called Energy Crisis, Higher Prices, Things That We Cannot Afford. Still remember it, taking our, silly song. But my dad put that to guitar, and when he did, I, it was over. I just thought that was the neatest thing because he, we had guitar pools, and I got to do it in front of everybody, you know. For, and it was just that was it. I was hooked. I, I wanted to do it from that moment on, and I was writing songs ever since. 1988, I moved to Nashville, April Fool's Day, uh, and I got a cut my first night in town on an artist named Shelby Lynn. I was so lucky. I, there's a lady down the street that I'd go down to visit with, with them some, and uh, she had a guitar there, and, and I told her I'd written this song, so she pulled in this old Martin guitar, and and I played her this song, and when it did, she started crying. And I thought, man, this, I can do this, you know? A cut is when an artist records what you do, and the connection that I made on the first night, on a writer's night, went forward, and that's how the cut arrived about a year later. Uh, it was used in a Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson television movie called Another Pair of Aces. And I, I think that's the way songwriting and all things are discovered in that light, in that way. But I remember myself trying over and over again to get at this, this poetic nature of, uh, you know, the cadence and the things that I was hearing in the poetry of Robert Frost and in the, uh, yeah, in the, in the singing of, uh, of guys like Jim Croce and, and Bob Dylan and, you know, guys who, who are singing real, real things. And it, it almost doesn't catch you until you actually write, try to write a song and you realize how hard it is to express real images and, and uh, real things and not to have them sound trite or uh, uh, ingenuine, I guess. So he wants me to flip it and I can't. And so he takes the guitar and turns the strings around on it. I tend it up, and I'm sitting on the front porch in our swing in Alexander City, Alabama. And I'm trying to make sense out of it, and I can't. So I just start saying, sitting on the front porch, singing and playing this guitar. And that's all it is. <laughs> Wish it was in Nashville. I sure would like to be a star. I was 12 years old. It hurts in Alabama as I'm driving across the plains. It hurts in Louisiana in a warm and gentle rain. Through the Arizona desert, I can understand the pain. It's where it hurts, where it hurts, that's where it hurts. That's the quick version. For more information, check out www.fbisf.com.